Today we'll be reviewing the Gomatic Sunvolt. As you can see right here, it's a actually rather large solar panel that can be used to uh, power and charge most of your your mobile devices. So right now I've got it connected to my iPad, and since it is 10 watts of power, it's charging it. So that's a good thing. Some smaller solar panels um, may not have the the wattage output to be able to charge it, but the uh, the this is a 10 watt. Uh, a sun volt. You can actually get a 15 watt sun volt as well, but at 10 watts, you get enough power to uh, to charge your iPad. Okay, so let's see how the uh, Gomatic sun volt works. So first of all, you, you point it toward the sun. Now it doesn't have to be necessarily a sunny day. Uh, obviously, it works a little bit more effectively if it is sunny, but it, it will work if it's cloudy as well. Although it will not work under a standard uh, household light. So it's not like a, a solar powered calculator. This actually needs to be pointed toward the sun. So you can adjust your position right here with a slab, slap. You can remove it and then Velcro it further out. So again, you can maximize your angle to the sun so you can capture as much sunlight as possible. The solar panel, again, which is, this one's 10 volt, goes, gets fed through a cable that has a, uh, a variety of different plugs you can put in. So this one right here is actually for my iPad with a 30 pin connector. You can also get one for a uh, for a uh, Blackberry and other devices so that you can you can charge actually more than one device at a time. And that's what we'll show next. Okay, now I have the Gomatic Sunvolt connected to a uh, cable that splits and I've got one side connected to my Blackberry and the other side is connected to my iPad. Now it won't charge as quickly of course if you're charging two devices but it does give you the capability to charge two devices if needed. Um, so that's kind of a, a nice functionality that you don't get with other uh, solar panels that I've tried for, for mobile devices. So uh, it does expand your, your capability. And, and you need to pay attention too because not all devices will directly charge your iPad. Um, you have to have the proper power output from the solar panel um, in order to uh, supply enough uh, a wattage to to even um, to charge your iPad. So, But with the Gomatic Sunvolt, that's not a problem. Okay, another option you have is a is a optional battery pack that will plug right into your Sunvolt, and, and you can charge the battery pack. The battery pack actually has a pretty good little punch to it. It's 3,400 milliampere hours of, of 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 storage, which is going to be enough probably to uh, to charge your cell phone probably two maybe two and a half times before it's depleted. So you'll get a good charge for your iPad or other devices and again in most cell phones it's going to give you at least two full charges now this is an optional accessory but it's a nice it's lightweight and it's pretty small so um, if you're going to have the Sunvolt it really does make a lot of sense to go ahead and, and purchase the uh, the uh, optional battery pack to go along with it something else that I really like is that the solar panel zips up nicely into a small almost briefcase side laptop bag that you can carry around with you and it has a front panel that you can uh, unzip and store both your your battery pack and your your alternative tips now one thing on these charging tips is that you get a couple charging tips depending on which version of this you buy but other tips are available by Gomatic and uh, they're reasonably priced so just because uh, you do have to buy these separately don't think that you're necessarily getting a, a bad deal on it because they are available and you can charge a variety of devices with it at really a, a pretty modest charge. A few final thoughts on the uh, Sunvolt 10 watt by Gomatic. Uh, there's a lot to like about this. It's a uh, uh, 10 watts of power will charge almost all my devices although it will not charge a say a laptop computer which might run on 90 watts but it does do a good job for my iPad, my Blackberry and maybe some portable speakers. Um, the 15 watt v will obviously give you more power and charge things quicker but you do get additional weight. While the, uh, the 10 watt uh, panel is not necessarily light, it's not too heavy. You can strap it on the back of your backpack, you can have it on the top of your tent without too much concern. If you get much, much bigger than that, you're going you're gonna to notice the weight, I think. Um, however, uh, I think for, for most people, uh, both the uh, ease of setup, the variety of, of charging tips that you have, it's, it's a pretty nice trade-off. And this is definitely something that if you're, you're spending a lot of time in the woods or if you're hiking or camping or maybe even tailgating, it, it would be uh, something worth looking into.